you know, if you also quick and dirty setup. This is I mean, a quick and dirty setup. So dirty, it's hard to clean. But the degrees have worked on this. The easy part of the compressor so the motor can start. The most unsafe wire you can ever think of. But I've seen worse out there than that. That's just a test for test purposes only. So I'm using my contactor. This thing I can just whack the emergency stop button, it's nice and safe. I have to plug a wire and I have to hold that and hold this and try and unplug it. So it won't work quick enough. The safest bet is this. Yeah, wrong capacitor value for this particular setup. Here's where a VFD would come in handy. Frickin' now they got a VFD FE, but it was a WEG. Three phase, um, 2.7 amp output. But some, there's always someone out there that puts a stupid reverse price, a reserve price on it. So, I want to buy a, a, a reputable brand VFD instead of buying a generic Chinese one because they're hard to set up. Uh, something that's made by a known company, a well known brand, it should be a bit easier to set up at least, to program it and use it. It's going to take a while to get the kickstart, but it'll work. Yeah, for something like this, it's not enough power. Yeah, I'm going to have to uh, try and jump start it a bit, but it does work. Un unloaded, this sort of setup with a capacitor on single phase on a three phase motor, unloaded, it's perfect for test purposes, but if you want to load them up, you got to run them properly. Now, I'll, I'll get it started off camera and I'll show you it going. Alright, it's going. Took a bit of jump starting, and I have to redo my seal at the bottom there. I didn't put enough aviation seal on it. And yes, using the socket to tap the piston was a bad idea, I know. But I was, uh, wasn't hitting it very hard. But yeah, you can crack the piston and bugger this thing up. I could have very easily ruined this thing altogether. Good thing I didn't. But I didn't know about the sandpaper right here with the vice grips. That was a good, uh, good advice, that. So I know next time to use sandpaper on it instead of having the vice grips straight on the shaft. So, next time, I'll, there's always something I learn every day. It's not getting hot. That back there ain't gonna work on. It's a nice old motor, that. Try and get the compressor to free up a bit by running it like this. That's the only size pulley I've got for this motor. Got a vacuum. I've got a leak somewhere there. Oh, I'm still getting air output. There's a leak on the vacuum side somewhere. Yeah, I've got too much leaks. In order to get me a little pressure out of this thing, I've got to fix all the leaks up. Yeah, not bad for a quick and dirty setup. Just got to get this motor fixed, rewire it, put a new capacitor on it. And clean up the switch contacts in there. It should be a good, good to go for this compressor. That's not a, the size motor I need. It's got enough starting for, and it, once it's fixed. There we go. No starting torque now. It's going to take a bit of work to free it up again. Everything's running happily. Oh, that started easier. It's getting easier in that ball. Not getting that warm. Yeah, getting the top running temperature. It's just going to free it up a bit. some pressure. I can't get a good seal on the vacuum though. Must be a vacuum leak somewhere. Hmm. 
I guess I made it work as a good vacuum pump, but as a compressor, it's still pretty good. Relatively good output, just need more RPM. Quite a slow motor for this sort of compressor. The way I put it wired up, that is. You know, we've got in the VFD. Hard part. Here's your part. Yeah, still got the hard part. Got to get that all worn out, so it's wears itself back in again. I mean. Initial bit of an uh, friction so that I overcome. But I'm happy with that. That works quite well. So I'll definitely you know next time to be a lot more careful when I don't if I ever come across anything like this again. Bit more a little bit more care to free a piston up at stuck. That's the heat in the block up to get the piston back in. Well, I just assume that because um, when I took one of the other old credit compressors apart I had in the past, how long before that was burnt out, when I took it apart I couldn't get the piston back in. So I'm just assuming, based on that assumption, that I must heat the block up in order, in order to get the piston to go back in. Because I couldn't for the life to get the piston back in that old compressor once I took it out. Anyway. There's no damage under this compressor, thankfully, so just uh, unharmed. Just gonna um, break it back in again. Yeah, still hard there. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.